It's Wednesday. Ready to solve the Wednesday crossword puzzle? Let's do it. Here we go. Wednesday, New York time. Crossword puzzle. Ready to start solving? I am. Who am I? Well, first, let's discuss who Brooke Husick and Brian Thomas are. They are the constructors of today's puzzle. I am Steve. I am the solver. That's why this channel is called Solve with Steve. So, let's solve that puzzle. 90. Uh, lots of Muslims are Sunni. First of seven. What does that mean? Like Sunday? This thing starts with sun, maybe? Uh, in that case, if so, give sustenances to nourish. Uh, holiday quaff is nog. You drink eggnog. Archaeologist find could be an urn, maybe? Place to unplug is a spa. Scottish cattle bees Angus. Conjectures lack is proof. Yeah, I think so. Go here and there is to Rome, or maybe to Rove. Let's see. Troy, New York has Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, RPI. Mortar and pestle goes together. Science! The queen of drag would be RuPaul. She has 12 Emmys. That's pretty cool. Uh, oh, I guess for drag race? I don't know. Uh, all right, goal of a bedtime... Story rating is a reading. Oh, it's sleep. Get that child to sleep. Traditional New Year's Eve song is Old Lang Syne. What is this? Oom pa pa. Oh, the tuba are the boomers. Flutter, you bat your eyelashes. All right, and end result is the upshot. And twos, yeah, see, it's okay. The third day is Tuesday. Tu -e -bo, I think is how you say that. That looks about right. Stick uh, for a 15 across player. I don't know what that is yet. Blackjack combo is ace 10. So, okay, it's not that. Uh, I, uh, tu -e -bel, maybe that is it. I don't know about that S. I don't know. Uh, okay, what do we got here? Garage sale receipts go into a cigar box, a cash box, cash box. Uh, scary roller coaster twists are helixes. Uh, not helices, but helixes. Okay. Ricochet is to carom. Uh, rubber ducky, you're the one in the t in the bathtub. You make me have time, lots of fun. I like some drills and vacuums. I don't know. Punk subculture would be emo. Warm-blooded sort is a mammal. Um, yep, so Monday is the second of seven. Ricardo Montalban from uh, from uh, Fantasy Island. Jacqueline Dupre plays a cello. Oh, so the stick would be the bow. So that, that is right. Okay. Uh, weight is heft. Uh, what is this? Oodles are tons. Spiky fruits with a noxious odor? I don't know. Is this, it looks like Elba. No, oh yeah, it's just Elba, yep. Uh, tres leches cake is kind of like flan. Durian, I think, is the name of the fruit. Um, uh, like some drills. In fact, it's handheld. That's what they are. Meh. Uh, and meh. Oh wait, sorry. And Reddit has the AMA. Yeah, that's a cross readies now, is AMA and Reddit. Okay. Uh, some December lawn decorations are sleighs. Whoops. Santa and the sleigh. Rocky Mountain National Park, they have elk in Estes Park, is this town right next to it, which was in like a day or two ago. Um, yippee for us, yay, I don't know. Uh, oh, this is a cello of the bow. We did it, that's what that is. Uh, Big Little Lies had Nicole Kidman, I think. Uh, Control T, might open a new tab. Uh, two People from two, new, two states are named, rather Dakota. Major ordeals, I don't know. Snow globe scene, I don't know. A uh, Buckeye, I don't know. Ohioan, how about that? Ohioan. Requests kibble. Meow. Please give me some kibble. Uh, the remainder of the Muslims are Shia. Very good. So one across and 35 across Sunni and Shia working together. I like that. Uh, English suffix ando and endo mean ing. Major ordeals are sagas. Snow globe scene is wintry. It's an adjective like a snow globe scene. Uh, digital content. So this is Thursday. Uh, so thumb. Uh, digital thumb. Thumb wars. Ah, one, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. Uh, what do we have here? Um, get over here. Uh, the black candle must be a Kwanzaa. Uh, that's how you spell Kwanzaa. One with horns would be Saturday, so Seder. Uh, brings home is to earn. His earns. A government program heads are czars. That way. Uh, SSN. Oh, it's not. It's Satan, not Sater. Uh, RNA would be for vaccines. R, fine art and folk art. Yep, Frost is Isis. Come on in. Uh, or I suppose that work. Uh, okay. Uh, Suffer the consequences, you'll pay. Heaven knows where for short. I don't know. Load of information all at once is a data dump. Uh, data dump like that. Surveillance organization would be the NSA. Heaven knows where. MSA doesn't look like right. Uh, maybe it's the CIA. And then uh, heaven knows where is missing in action. It's MIA. Merry Men's. This is Friday. Also, Friar Tuck is what we got there. Lunar New Year is Tet. This looks like Natasha. Yeah, Natasha Bedingfield. The rest is still unwritten. I love that song. Uh, deflect as an insult is to parry. Uh, staring at the blank page before you. 
Open up the dirty windows, let the sun illuminate the words that you cannot find. Reach out. I should do the puzzle, huh? For something in the distance. Uh, a dike would be by a river so close you can almost taste it. Release your inhibitions, feel the rain on your skin. Sorry. Natural for hairstyles and afro. No one else can feel it for you. Owls are the symbols of wisdom. Only you can let it in. This is not right. This is uh, a mill. No one else, no one else can feel the rain on your skin. Come from behind his rally. Uh, look up to admire. Woo! Do 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 do. Okay. I like that song. I'm sorry. I, I love that. It's such a cool message, and it's just, it's just it's just I love that song. Um, <laughs> that was fun. So cool theme. Um, so uh, the the theme is they're using the days of the week. Um, so Sunni. Starts with S U N, which is day one of seven in the the uh, traditional Western calendar, uh, and then day two of seven is Monday, so M O N for Montauban, and then uh, day three of seven is Tuesday, so we have T U E or maybe T U E S. It works for both. I guess the three letters. Um, I don't know my French grammar, but apparently the second person conjugation uh, is E. Eh. I think you say E, eh, but it, it's spelled E S. So maybe I maybe not. Um, doesn't matter for male or female. Bell is female. I know that from Beauty and the Beast, and I guess Bo is uh, is 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 male, right? I think uh, you know. Um, and then so then we have uh, the fourth day is Wednesday, so W E D, which is kind of cool because they made that we, and then the next word is did it, so that's pretty good. Thursday is the following day, digital confrontation. I like that code because con- your digits, right? Your your uh, your fingers and your toes are the digits. Um, so a digital confrontation is a thumb war. I like that a lot. Uh, day six of seven is Friday, and we have FRI for Friar Tuck. And day seven is Saturday. Uh, Saturday, what a day. We're waiting all week for you. Okay, um, these days are out. Maybe this is related to that uh, jumping the shark with, uh, with happy days. we got Sunday, Monday, happy days. Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days. Thursday, Friday, happy days. Saturday, okay, anyhow. Uh, one with horns. I thought it was a satyr. They also have horns, I think, right? But in this case, it's Satan. So you had to get the crossings there. Uh, so oh, that was a good one. I like this puzzle. It was not super difficult, it was, but it was fast and it was fun. It was fast and it was furious. No, this was good. Uh, very, very good. Very well done, Brooke and Brian. Well done. Well, well done. Uh, what else? Was there anything else I wanted to say about this one? Um, so uh, on the subject of Natasha Bedingfield. Uh, I don't know how Pocketful of Sunshine goes. The only thing I know her for is Unwritten, which is just such an awesome song. I might recognize Pocketful of Sunshine, but the only Pocketful I can think of from the 1990s or 2000s would be a Pocketful of Kryptonite, Spin Doctors. And that was the 90s at some point, right? Uh, and and um, what's her name? Had one hand in her pocket. Uh, um, um, the ironic woman. Uh, ah, I'm blanking out her name. Um... Oh my God, Alanis Marset. Um, she had one hand in her pocket, but a pocket full of sunshine. I don't know, uh, but that's not that important. Uh, this was a fun, fun puzzle. I hope you had fun solving it. I hope you also had fun watching it. I had fun solving it and making this video and singing. <laughs> um, and there's some good ones. Uh, okay, so all right, I, I do have to have to. Uh, I don't know what rant, but I do have to register. I'm tired of AMA. Uh, as a Reddit Q and A session, um, I mean, it, yeah, I get it. It's hip because everybody's on Reddit. I don't care about Reddit, but I mean, there's nothing wrong with Reddit. Uh, Reddit is a wonder, a wonderful, fun, wonderfully fine platform. Uh, I have no account, but I have looked at Reddit every now and then because you know there's some good question answer. But I get it that they have some some celebrity in their field, whatever, and they have an AMA. Ask me anything. Uh, I get it. I've learned that from doing crosswords, and it seems like it's too popular now. It seems like uh, enough. Uh, AMA could also be the medical uh, American Medical Association, um, or it could be you know I am a whatever a you know, partial phrase. I guess those are frowned upon, but it or just don't use AMA. Uh, but it seems overdone that, that this is a Reddit thing. Uh, I think you're trying too hard to be hip. Not just you, Brooke and Brian, but in general, it, it's all right. Off the soapbox. Um, really good puzzle. So much fun. Um, I did not know that Jacqueline Dupre played the cello, but I, I figured out because it works. Um, I like this helix is, is you know, the shape of an RNA is a single helix, right? Uh, as opposed to DNA, which is a double helix. But R, the RNA molecule is a helix. 
but they went with the roller coaster twist, which also, woo, the corkscrew uh, is in the shape of a helix. So that was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. All right. And uh, and there's owls. Um, go owls. Uh, let's see, symbols of wisdom. Yes. All right. That was fun. That was fun. That was fun. Um, I don't think I have anything else to say, except that if you enjoyed the video, you should subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Right? There, there we go. You should subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, make sure you like this video. Feel free to comment on it. I do try to get to these uh, comments that, uh, you know, you can respond to each other in the comments. Uh, maybe have a talk about um, whether Natasha Bedingfield sang her song better or whether I sang her song better. Um, I think she probably is. Not, not probably. Uh, but hey, there was a fun time. I had fun solving. I hope you had fun watching. And I hope you continue to watch in the future. And I'm going to continue to make this in the future because... It's fun. And that's all I have to say. So have a wonderful day.